Go. Got him. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. So the other day, I had a video on how to tie a donkey rig or a double fluke rig, and now we're going to fish with it. Um, again, for the most part, the donkey or the double fluke rig is super simple. Uh, basically, you just have some configuration of a T for swivels. Um, whether you use two swivels, I use crane swivels a lot of times, and then a shorter line attached with a fluke or, you know, Sanko, whatever you wanted to throw, and then a little bit longer one. And for schooling fish or, you know, if there's bait fish that are stacked up, this is a phenomenal rig. And it does a pretty good job of staying untangled too, regardless whether you use two swivels or a crane swivel. So walking around and I've gotten it, you know, wrapped around a couple of times, but then it'll just go ahead and unwrap itself. So let's go ahead and throw it, show it off and see if we can get a couple and maybe we'll get lucky and finally get our double. So this is what it kind of looks like in the water. Again, it's just, it looks like two minnows that are kind of like swimming independent of each other because they do not move the same direction every single twitch by any means. I don't know how well you can see that, but um, again, this is like a super, super simple version of how to throw it. You can get, you know, crazy customized. You can throw on different types of lures. You can throw on different colors. Uh, if you're looking at different water depths, you can put on a belly weighted hook, all sorts of stuff, uh, different lengths of leaders, all that will affect this and make it work differently. So tons of what you can do with it, but we're, we're super, super simple today. Same size baits, same color. Just hoping to potentially get some fish and maybe we'll get lucky and get a double. Go, got him. <laughs> now is that second one trailing behind gonna get one? I don't really know how you'd set the hook if a second one did bite. I think you'd have to just kind of get lucky. Come on, buddy. Got the one in the back. You do have to be careful because you obviously got extra hooks popping around. But there's our first one. That's awesome. That is phenomenal. Yeah, I don't know how you would. I've never gotten a double again on a, a donkey rig. At least for bass. I mean, white bass are a little bit different, but when I fished for those, a lot of times they have exposed hooks, so you could still hook one pretty easily. But there's our first one. Let's get some more. Oh, oh I missed him. Shoot. Feel that one. That is something that you potentially might have is you don't have a real great connection with both those baits because obviously they are running at different lengths. So there is a chance that you might not recognize you have a bite right away. Got one. Oh, pulled it loose. Pulled it loose. I wonder which one it had. Probably the front one, I would assume. Got one. one only feels like one. Oh, yep just one we got a bait dragon though I don't think anything is going to come that close to try and grab it and that was on the near one got him pretty good Little guy. That was on the 
the short length. I don't. I do believe it'd be pretty difficult to double up on this thing, but never know. There's one. That was a little bit deeper. That's how close to where we had the our double on the. Oh, that's a better fish. Where we had a double on a the A rig for a short period of time. Only one. How in the world? My fluke slid all the way up the line. Jeez. You were not coming off, buddy. There we go. A little bit better of one. Not crazy big. Don't have too much time left to fish though, unfortunately. And they're starting to bite a little bit better. Got one. Oh. Well, that was on the first one, obviously. If we can't get one more before dark, I thought that was going to be the one. Well, that's it for today. Um, we didn't get one more fish before dark. We did have one more bite, but we didn't get that one. Um, we'll probably come out either tomorrow or the next day to fish with this rig again. Uh, sun is just setting so early now, it's difficult to get out for any extended period of time, but um, we'll come out and throw this rig again, hopefully catch some more fish. And again, we're, we're hoping, praying for that, for that double at some point in time. Welcome back. So we are fishing with our donkey rig again today. Uh, uber clear water, which is great. It is quite a bit windier than the last time we had used this. So we might end up having to switch out one of these hooks for a belly weighted hook, just to have a little bit more control and a little bit better casting. But nevertheless, let's get after it. Hopefully we catch some more fish like we did last time. There's one. Get him. Is that a decent one? No, not a bad one. on the front one. Took a long time to get that bite. Holy cow. Long time. We ended up with some really cold weather again after the abnormally warm weather and from just a, a day the uh, how aggressive the fish are has just changed so immensely. It's crazy. So Hopefully we get another bite or two before sundown, but it's only a, we only got a couple minutes. Oh, there's one. Yep, got him. Oh, little guy. Sure, if we ski him in, we definitely aren't getting a, another one to bite that. Is that the front? That's the front one again. That's a small one, but. Getting into the front one. Well, that's two bites in a couple minutes. It's way better than the last hour, that's for sure. Little guy. There's one. Still got it. Yeah, he's got it. And swam a ways with it. Is that on the front one too? It's on the front one too. I'll have to get the plastic.
fire for him. The front one definitely falls faster. So I, think, I guess that's something to note also is um, obviously the fall rates for him. But that front one is going to fall a little bit faster because it's got that swivel on the front. But let's get him unhooked and let him go. All right, let that one go. Well, got a few bites in a short period of time. Took the whole day to figure out where they were at and how they were going to bite. But again, super cold water. It's basically fishing the thing like a, like a Senko. Just slow fall. Which is, again, ironic because the front one is the one that keeps getting bit and that's the one that's going to have the fastest sink rate. That second one or that tail one is going to fall much, much slower. Well, see if we still can't get one or two more. There's one. Get him. little guy and again on the front one I wish we had a little bit more time we barely had him I wish we had a little bit more time because I would think about throwing a a weighted belly hook on the back one to get that one to drop a little bit faster as lethargic as the fish seem they seem to be reacting to a faller fast or faller faster fall rate it's kind of different but well that's it for today uh we had all of our bites in about 15 minutes which i don't know if that was necessarily a bite window or we just finally found out how to catch them and where they are at but uh regardless it was much happier to at least have caught a few uh no big ones but it is what it is um but yeah hopefully you guys with this video you know if you've never used the donkey rig if it's something that's interesting to you you know go ahead and try it out again uh does super well in any sort of times when you know bait fish are schooling up very similar to like when an alabama rig would work uh that's usually when i've had the best success for it and again, it's not just uh, specifically for bass. Um, panfish, you can absolutely do really, really well uh, on, for panfish in the same, uh, same way. And my favorite is definitely throwing out for white bass when there's a white bass run because catching doubles on those is not extremely hard to do. And they fight insanely hard. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I missed that one. But... If you guys like the video, if you wouldn't mind liking, and as always, if you want to see more videos like it, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, that'd be greatly appreciated also. Till next one.